time has come for us to witness a once in a 75 year hatching of the elusive Ferratorto worm. When it finally awakes, it mates with and eats all it sees. The time has come! and welcome to the Unnatural History Show with me, Ross Noble. I'm here in a secret location preparing for the hatching of the Ferratorto worm. Are we going to get this started or are we going to sit around for another 75 years? Our high-tech camera system is ready to go and today we are going to be talking about the bait which we will use to draw the worm Whose from its lair. Idea was this? I'm joined as always by Professor Shania Coddle who will once again be providing expert knowledge on the subject. Welcome, Professor. <laughs> now, as we discovered last time, the Ferratorto worm, once awakened, eats and mates with all it sees. Could you break that down in simple terms, please, Professor? Surface, screw, scoff, slither, stop. Could you break that down in slightly less simple terms? Well, the sleeping worm, once awake, will emerge from its slumber. It's bloody madness. Once awake, for the safety of the wider public, we will have an individual who will be designated to be mated with. The worm will couple with them and be impregnated by their energy, therefore being able to reproduce with itself. That sounds like a truly incredible thing. Not for whoever is being coupled with. Quite. To allow the provider of the energy to make their escape, we will be feeding the worm one of the most delicious delicacies known to Hubo kind. Oh, yes. Yes, hand-warmed glabbins. Lovely. Glabbins are a delicacy gifted from the gods, the most delicious of treats when hand-warmed, but if prepared incorrectly, can not only be disgusting to eat, but the bringers of death. How so? Rather than provide nourishment and sweet flavors, if a glabbin spawns inside you, terrible things can happen. Let's take a look. I have had enough of this. I'm off. Good Lord. Now, I believe we have a glabbin here for us to have a look at. You are a true believer, a keeper of the faith, because yes, we do have one here. You will need to put on your protective oh. clothing. Yes, of course. That on there. The goggles on. And then, right, shall we? So, this is a glabbin. Yes. Now, I notice you're not wearing your protective clothing. Are you immune to the powers of the glabbin? No, I just can't be asked. Okay, fair enough. The extraordinary thing about a glavin is that when it licks someone, it takes on the speech patterns of the person it licked. Oh. This one licked a mortgage advisor. Yeah. Oh. Mortgage brokers build their businesses on a recurring income. <laughs> you know what? I can't wait to see it being fed to a hungry, angry worm. <laughs> the rising is nigh. To summarize, getting information Right, well, we've just got time to do some of your messages. Let's see, uh, see what we've got here. We've got, uh, first one comes in from uh, Butler's Butler's 100. Um, I don't know if that's uh, a butler who works for a butler or whether it's uh, somebody who works for somebody called Butler. I don't know. Anyway, um, unless of course it's the, uh, you know, it's a really well-respected butler who's like the Butler's Butler. Human scum. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, Butler's Butler, uh, 100, he says, is it possible to become enchanted through contact with artifacts in an antique store? He says here that he recently rubbed an old glass bottle uh, for a laugh and made a wish. The wish came true and uh, that very afternoon, and uh, he believes the magic could somehow be involved. Professor? No. Okay, thank you for that. Join us next time when we will be discussing ping bobs, whose job it is to warm the glabbins by hand in preparation for feeding to the ferratorto worm. Interesting stuff. Ping bobs. From the far off land of Ping, the Bob tribe are an ancient race that can live up to 5,000 years old. They, out of pure boredom, 
tamed the Glavins and are the keepers of those creatures. They hold the secrets and are a proud and honorable people. Right, let's have a look. Ugh. What? I can't hide it. They are creepy little baby men. They freak me out. Okay. Well, we will also be meeting the special individual who has been chosen for the beast to mate with once it appears from the ground. I know how you feel. They keep me in the dark, too. Looks like you're getting thrown to a randy beast. Well, that's all we've got time for today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Professor. Goodbye.